Welcome back. Yay! I'm getting to do two videos. I've managed to put this in my schedule, so it's like awesome. So here I am in my lunch minute in the back of my gallery. And I brought some bill envelopes, you know, the pattern envelopes with the window in them. And I and I think I'm going to just repurpose them into Happy Mail envelopes or envelopes in general and they're for no reason. So I'm using some magazines, I have some masking tape, a some paint and stencils, stamps. Really pretty much you have everything in your stash. So I use the magazine pages to fix where the envelopes were opened and they got damaged. You can use any kind of paper. I, I just happen to like the contrast. So, you know, the key for me here is just getting it to fit the size part to fit in the inside of the envelope. You know, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a fun, a fun repurposing. So can you guys believe it's like 10 days before Christmas? I cannot believe it. I am so, you guys, I'm so not ready. I've been working so much that I have really done little or no Christmas prep. You know, generally I, I find, or I come up with a project in like, September or October that I make to give away as gifts to my family and to my friends and this year zero zero so <clears throat> I'd like to hear what you guys are making for your holiday gifts please post it in the comments below and let me know you know maybe I can eke out a few before before Christmas so I do find trimming the bits and pieces off, um, you know, of where it's torn is helpful. But, you know, do it your way. Find your own, find your own way. It's not, there's nothing written in stone. And I can just hear somebody say, like, why? Why are you doing this? You know, this is like arting for no reason. What's kind of fun, though, is if you do have or you do share your love of recycling with other people, this is a fun way to share some happy mail. And, if, and the cool thing is if they're patterned on the inside, whoever receives it can take it apart and use it, the painted side or the pattern side in their own artwork. So here I'm prepping more envelopes, and I'm putting them one inside the other because I'm going to paint them. And... You know, normally I would have like a whole thing going on, but I'm still at work. This is my lunch minute at work, and I'm just using some packaging, you know, box packaging for my drop cloth. So I hope this shows you you can art anytime, anywhere. And... You know, I find this like I have found and I'm so grateful that my partner made the suggestion I take it and do it on my lunchtime at, at work because a couple things happen for me at work. A, I, if I'm really incredibly busy, I won't even take the time to go to lunch and or take a break. And so this is forcing me to do two things, take a break and just get some creativity going, get some flow going. So the only downside to painting at work I found is I don't really have a drying station. So you have to, I'm having to like open them all up. The other thing is when you paint the envelopes and you stick them one inside the other, if the, um, if the top of the envelope, you know, that has the gummed part is not totally used, they can stick together. Just forewarning. Um, but anyway. So I've been thinking a lot about what I want my year to look like next year. And I don't know if any of you are 
planners or stuff like that. And I'm not really a planner, but I just thought I'd hold a vision for my, what I'd like to see happen for myself next year. And one of them is to definitely make more time to art and to get back into my, to my schedule of making, um, videos or doing a few live streams. But more than that, it's just taking the time to allow myself to be rejuvenated in the creative process. I mean, I think many of us art for that, just to find that release and to find that spark of creativity and to keep pushing forward in that. I will tell you that if you're going to glue the inside of your magazine bits in before you paint, um, use a permanent glue stick because otherwise when you use that really cheap water soluble glue they will release. Now I'm just using a sharpie marker to do some embellishment on the envelopes. I know I have nicer markers but I didn't have them at work so I found this really fun and I it made me like I feel like I'm back in the groove of creating something for me every day. You know, this is a great way to create your stash. For those of you who want a crafting budget, it's also a great way to use up things. Your painty papers, your inexpensive paints, your magazine pages. And if you're like me and you've collected all these, or you have friends that collect you, save you their bill envelopes, it's great, it's a great way to utilize that. Just goes to show you, you don't need a lot of fancy tools to be able to art every day. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you're doing for your new year. Like what, what are your new year's wishes for yourself? Your creative and crafty wishes. I don't want to say resolutions because I don't think I ever keep any of those. But I think that I could keep my wishes and keep them going. You know, keep the, the creative thought and process of, goals that I would like to see myself achieve in my create in my in the creative aspect of my life. <clears throat> also leave me a comment and let me know about what Christmas projects you guys are doing or last minute ones because I don't have a ton of time but I can only imagine what my family is gonna think <laughs> when I didn't make them anything this holiday season. Well, I hope this inspires you to get out your stash or start creating your stash for 2020. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time on my Lunch Minute, <laughs> my Lunch Minute videos. I did have a really fun time doing it. I did all of this, I want to say, in like less than a half an hour. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Until next time, get your craft on. <laughs> Bye for now.